Hello everybody and welcome to the FM Scout YouTube channel with me Keepers and guys today we're going to be doing an Into the Future series and I'm going to be doing a striker in the name of Kalechi Iheanacho. Before we go any further, as always, if you're looking for a football manager playthrough and specifically a lower league playthrough, then I've got one over on my channel. It's called When in Rome and we take over Lupa Roma FC in the lower Italian leagues. So today, as I said, we're going to have a look at Kalechi Iheanacho. Now, looking at his history, there isn't really much to begin with apart from the fact that he was at Tay Academy or Thai Academy in Nigeria and Man City picked him up for an undisclosed fee in 2014 to 2015 season. And then he finally broke into Man City first team for a little while, got 26 league starts and only 8 goals. Which to be fair, for a player who was around about 17 at a time is tremendous. To even get into the Man City team is something every 17 year old would dream of, getting into the first team of a big club in England. Looking at his stats, you can see the media description class him as a wonder kid. He is a striker, but can kind of play on both lines. You could probably retrain him there, but I'd primarily use him as a striker, worth 22 million at the minute, earning 50k a week. And just looking at his base stats for an advanced forward, I mean, 15 finishing, 14 composure, and 14 off the ball is fantastic, with 17 determination, which means he could probably improve significantly in the future and even quicker with that good determination. And obviously the standout one is his 16 pace and his 16 acceleration. And basically this series is what it says on the tin. We're going to go into the future to see how Kalechi Iheanacho turns out. Now I've got every league in Europe loaded and then we'll come back in the year 2021 and then in the year 2029 I think. Just to see how his career goes, where he goes and if he turns out to be the, pro the prolific striker that he's destined to be. So here we are, back in 2021, roughly five years into the future, and we'll quickly jump in to see how Ian Acho has got on. Okay, not bad. In five years, he's made somewhat of a development. You can see he's actually developed as a complete forward. His composure's gone up by one, and he's become more well-rounded. His off-the-ball's gone from 14 to 16. Pace and physicals overall have advanced impressively. But it's only a matter of time before maybe his finishing and composure go up to 16 themselves. But let's look at his history. And first of all, he's on 200k a week at the minute. But since we left off, was round about here. So in the first season, he got 12 league starts and 5 goals. Average rating of 6.7. Not amazing. But the season after that was probably one of his more prolific. With 20 starts and 11 goals with an average rating of 6.8. Again not the best season after that. He's kind of teetering in and out of the Man City squad, probably used as a super sub type of player. But you can see seven starts overall with seven goals. But you can see even in the internationals, he had 11 starts for Nigeria and got 12 goals. So he's obviously well established in the national squad. Season after that, again, more used as a rotation player. 15 starts, 10 goals, which is again better, but he really needs to be starting a lot more games. And the season after that, Again, not fully in the squad, probably because of players like Sergio Aguero. We'll actually have a quick look at Man City strikers at the minute and see who's actually keeping him out of the squad. Well, surprise, surprise, Man City have signed Lewandowski and they still have Sergio Aguero. So that's probably the reason why Ian Atchel hasn't been getting as much first team football, but he is still progressing quite nicely. Maybe you'll get bought over by some team in the future, probably someone like PSG who could cope with his high wages. But he's worth 38.5 million, still is a quality player, he just needs more game time. And finally, we're into 2026. I, say, I said 2029, but I got that wrong. It's 2026. We'll quickly look at how Ian Atchel has got on. Again, the state at Man City, his whole career basically, and he's just become more and more well rounded. Now, even though he stayed at Man City all his life and it hasn't been as prolific for them, does not mean that he won't be prolific for you. Just imagine you had this guy in your team and you're playing him week in, week out. He would be absolutely fantastic. That 16 finish and 15 composure. Off the balls drop down, but then again, he is aging slightly and his physicals are still all there. Looking at his history, I really don't even know where we left off. 2021 was it. Season after that again, same old, same old, isn't getting as many starts or goals. Really a wasted career if I'm honest. It would have been much better at a completely different team. Again, hardly getting over 10 goals a season. Apart from his last one where he actually finally got into the first team for quite a while. 22 league starts with 11 goals, 31 starts overall with 15, average rating of 7. So that's really how Ian Atchel turns out. Again, it would be much better for a different team. You can see he's actually kind of half 
learn the attacking mid role, which I don't think he'd be that bad in a shadow striker type of role, but I would say he's definitely one of the best Wonder Kid strikers to pick up this year. But the only bad thing is it will be really hard to pry it off Man City's hands. But even then, it's proven here that maybe in some saves Man City will use him, in some saves they won't. So even though it's difficult to get him off Man City, they probably won't even use him in the end with players like Aguero and their ability to sign other top quality strikers. But this is going to be the end of the Into the Future episode. If you have enjoyed, then obviously leave a like. Comment down below any other players you want to see us simulate to see how they turn out. Do whatever you guys like to do. I'll see you on the next episode. And remember, finders keepers, losers, weepers.